Cardiac tamponade is a critical condition where fluid accumulates in the pericardial sac, compressing the heart. This fluid can be blood, pus, or air, and it restricts blood flow in and out of the ventricles. Several risk factors contribute to pericardial tamponade, including malignancy, infection, and cardiovascular surgery. The pathophysiology involves fluid pressure on the heart, preventing it from expanding and filling with blood. Beck's triad is a set of clinical features associated with cardiac tamponade, distant heart sounds, distended jugular veins, and decreased arterial pressure. Management of cardiac tamponade includes pericardiocentesis, a procedure to remove fluid from the pericardial sac. Pericardiocentesis is both a therapeutic and diagnostic procedure, significantly improving cardiac output. A chest radiograph can show a massive heart, indicating the need for pericardiocentesis. The technique involves using echocardiographic and fluoroscopic guidance to ensure accurate needle placement. Echo guidance confirms the needle's position by injecting agitated saline into the pericardium. Essential instruments for pericardiocentesis include a syringe, needle, catheter, guide wire, dilator, and scalpel. The procedure starts with the patient in a supine position, skin sterilization, and local anesthetic administration. Identify anatomic landmarks like the xiphoid process and ribs for needle insertion. Insert the needle at a 30 to 45 degree angle, directing it toward the left shoulder. Aspirate during insertion. Stop advancing once fluid is encountered and reassess for improvement. Echocardiography helps confirm the optimal direction and depth for needle insertion. A three-way stopcock and pressure manifold are used to monitor and manage the procedure. Risks and complications include cardiac arrest, MI, abnormal heart rhythms, and more. The safety and success of pericardiocentesis depend on the choice of entry site and effusion size. In summary, pericardiocentesis is a vital procedure for managing cardiac tamponade and improving patient outcomes.